Do we have enough pillows? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the hour, eight, eight hours into the build for the guys in South Africa. Um, we are once again joined by Mr. Jack Conan, Grant Stein, Mr. Michel Jean, and Hello. our guest of honor, Mr. Will Stelter. How's it going, guys? All the way from the U.S., who would have started exactly 13 minutes ago. Mm. But, mm. Um, well, well, the planets did not align. So uh, he said he will just join us um, and talk a bit of crap. Yep. Yeah, man. I just had a message from uh, Alec, and uh, he's at the beach. Yeah, oh. spending a bit of time with the, the wife and the doggos. So <laughs> I thought I'm glad to see the rest of the world is taking this bull really fucking seriously. We little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel terrible because I, I teased Alec a little bit to try to get him to do it, and it looks like... He took the challenge on, and then through some unfortunate circumstances, I wasn't able to do it myself. So, oh, dude. don't worry too much about oh, it. Yeah. You just don't have to record it. Oh, crap. That? That, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no. That's not <laughs> what I want. <laughs> what I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let, let's just stick to. No. That one there. People are getting <laughs> old. <laughs> <Hey, Adolf. laughs> yeah, man. So you're saying that uh, you were teasing uh, Alec a bit, and uh, now you can't do it. Yeah. It sucks, so man. I, uh, yeah, with I basically, without going too much into detail, wasn't going to be able to film it starting at the proper time, and so, yeah, uh, I'm, I, I can't. I'm, I've got too many, too many videos to make right now that I, I've got to film anything that I'm working. And so, of course, of course, and yeah. you've just come out of a. Uh, you're planning on releasing a video where you are already competing in a challenge, yeah? Exactly, doing a 24 or a one day 24 hour integral bolster chef's knife challenge. Uh, so. Ah, so Mr. Jack Conan, yeah. Um, damn it again! Left is right, right is left. This guy. He is extremely, extremely interested in that build. Yeah, so it was, um, a, it was a fun one. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So, well, yeah. I'm going to ask you, you've got my, my details. Please send me all the, the do's and the don'ts and the sizes and the whatnots. Um, cool. And then uh, I'll distribute that, and then you let us know when that should happen. All right. Uh, we'll organize another one. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll post I'll post the details about it. I I haven't made, like, I didn't I didn't go through and do, like, a set of... A set of uh, rules and whatnot like you like you did for the dagger challenge uh but i think that's probably not a bad idea i don't there's not going to be any any winner or anything like that it's just, just for fun it's a it's a challenge not a competition yeah exactly exactly it's yeah. you against the clock and at this point in time me personally the clock is kicking my ass man <laughs> this one i've got about uh four hours in this one at the moment Started out Jack, with a piece of I can Yeah, Jack was mentioning that this morning as well. Oh. All right. <laughs> Push well. the wrong button. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. But anyway, guys. So, Munir is one. I am yes, sir. Teeth. I'm just checking teeth, dude. We, we need to have that. Look at that. <laughs> nice gin. <laughs> what are you laughing at, buddy? Thank you, let's see who's that here. Baffle, uh, baffle. Good night, dude. I hope you're having fun, man. Uh, Mr. Steve Katz, how's it going? How are you, Steve? And the world's back. Steve, get back to work. All right. Steve, are you? Are you? Have you started, man? Steve's in Florida, right? He should have started two hours ago. Yeah, yeah I saw some of his stuff. He was forging out twin. Yeah. Driving, Driving to work. work. What the Wrong fuck? You staying? Oh, you oh, <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna go. Uh, been watching Alec and Stone. Yeah, yeah. Those guys are, are literally like eight and ten hours ahead of us. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. they are now sixteen and uh, no crap yeah 16 and 18 hours in Dang. madness man and then Damn we've got uh, 
Hello, so Facebook user, um, if you guys are joining us from the uh, official 48 hour dagger build group on Facebook, my system will call you a Facebook user. Uh, be glad that he's not calling you anything else. So if you're commenting from that group, please start with your name. Uh, or like uh, Mr. Antoni always does is not Antoni. <laughs> not Anthony. <laughs> not Anthony. Sorry. Uh, I have started. I'm glad, dude. I'm really? glad. Uh, so pursuit on work. Yeah, dude, it is. Are you playing or are you watching? Good. Curtis, buddy, are you playing or are you watching? I'm hoping that you're playing with. Uh, Forward 5160 this morning, Dylan. in there. 1030 till 230. The fuck can you start at 1030 already? David, dude, we're going to have to have a chat. Good afternoon, man. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Once again, so <laughs> normally. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dude, like watching. Dude, Curtis, so next time around, yeah, I'm expecting you to uh, to play with. Why not? Go out and build a stupid dagger. So every year right after this, I'm, I'm rethinking my entire career choice. <laughs> every year. And I'm thinking, fuck this. I don't want to make daggers anymore. Now I want to make something really simple. I don't know, like a sword. <laughs> every every year after the challenge i want to participate in more challenges and yeah. now for the first yeah. time ever i'm in a place where i can actually participate in more challenges because i've pretty much closed my order book and i've still got three or four little orders left yeah and when they're done, I will not be taking orders again. Well, I would I'm like thinking you're here. Right. Sorry, Jack. You should do the same thing, dude. Do what? Check that. Yeah. I, I just cut away the gray. Bad attitude for the back. Shave a night talk into my head. Hey, No, no, this is, I'm practicing my comb over. Ah, bad, bad attitude for the bad. All he needs is a couple of wrought iron chains. <laughs> oh, Steve Katz, what, is, what is Steve saying? I am 2 p.m. You guys are really six hours in. Uh, yeah, buddy. I, I, I thought as much, man. I thought as much. Uh, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Ben, Spark God. Dude, obviously, I'm no missing idea. something. So Ben said, how's it, guys? And the next one is Spark God. Um, if he's re referring to Grant Stain, no, he was not a car god in his previous life. He was in corporate. <laughs> Thanks I, was, I, was, I was a member of the Discovery, Discovery Car God Club. <laughs> yeah, Jack was. Jack, Jack, Jack started the, the Discovery oh. Car God Club. I'm one of the founder members of the Discovery Car God Club. All right, so Will, just for you, uh, Discovery Knife Club is a, a suburb and just outside of Johannesburg, and Jack started the Discovery Knife Club day, uh, which is probably the best run, and, and it's not because he's a mate, but it is probably the best run knife club association where they do training, blah, 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 in the country. All right. But uh, the very first meeting they go to, they go with these bright orange branded shirts. Yeah, and, and, and in the I US, this is not a thing. Sleeve, yeah? just like in South Africa, you have got guys that, uh, well, either can't find work or whatever, but they're standing in shopping centers, and as you park your car, they'll show you, come, come park here, and then they'll they'll ask you for a, a small donation. Yeah, and we yeah. generally call them car guards. <laughs> so um, I don't know, <laughs> man. These guys. Where's the Muller you know, started it? And they, I can't remember who said this. They said, "I oh, want every car guard clubs here," yeah. and it just Wesley stuck. <laughs> Sorry, oh man, Wesley Muller said it. Wesley Muller, right? And, and this guy is a knife maker of note. Uh, seriously, it, it's one of the only guys I've ever saw where he was looking at me, having a full blown con conversation, and doing a hologram at the same time, <laughs> not looking at what he's doing. Um, 
so uh, that's the skill level. But anyway, so no one, no one that I know of, including myself, um, will will take on him for saying anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like going up to Bill Moran and him calling, uh, I don't know, your car, uh, I don't know, a piece of crap. Uh, you're not going to argue with him, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, man. Uh, hey, I'm probably going to have to hop off here in just a minute. Uh, All right, man. Uh, yeah. Well, once again, thank you for joining us, buddy. Of course. And Sorry for joining us. This I'll be, I, I, I will. will. Yeah. All right, man. But you know that I'll be giving you crap for this for years to come. That's okay. I'll that's all right. Yeah. All right you got you fun. have fun and thank you for uh, your time. It's great to appreciate it. You go and okay. earn some money. Yeah. <laughs> all righty. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. All right, bud. Bye. 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 Cheers. Cheers, Will. All right. So, who else is in here? Uh, on his head. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, let, let's get back. Uh, is it this Thought a one man meal food next to another fool will be a good idea. If you design like a dumbass, you will suffer. <laughs> <laughs> that is a freaking true story. Yeah. But the thing <laughs> is done. It is six done. hours. Sweet. Not, not really six hours. It took about three hours of cutting. Um, <laughs> and then the other time, the other was spent waiting on Sean because he drives like an old tunny. To go and get me replacement milling bits. Yeah, yeah, and only yeah. on his way back that I realized I actually have two millimeter. Um, hey, guys. Hey, guys. Who knows? But, yeah. Listen. Can you hear them? Can you hear them? Three lions. Someone else is sleeping in the shop tonight. No, they're gone now. They're gone. Or they stopped. Damn, dude. It's only you that can <laughs> hear them and sit there smiling all chilled, all red. <laughs> so we I normally that. hear the, and, the lion. And, and, and you know, you know, at about 6.30. My, my yeah, door, door is still open. open. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're just a little bit crazy, Mitchell. <laughs> I'm Benga. I tell you what, I, I would love to. Run, I'll check you out oh, on man. the next one, okay? Just All right, buddy. Okay. Rod, you have a good just, evening, bud. Uh, sorry, Steve. Uh, please tell us how the build is going. Andrew, my build is going, I want to say swimmingly, because I'm fucking there's, drowning. There's my guard. My blade is in the oven, busy... Uh, tempering the second cycle as soon as that comes out i will finish off the grind on that and uh yeah all's good how many scissors do you have to sharpen at the moment andrew <laughs> mish how you how's you how's your build going uh well it went cuck for a while because this part has oh, been yeah, bothering me yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's a, it's only fifty millimeters, lo fifty five millimeters long, and with a twenty five millimeter wheel, it kept digging yeah, into jagged. the side. So I had to constant, uh, completely carve it out by hand. But for the rest, oh. I'm getting there. Oh, oh hold out. on. How how big is your wheel? Uh, that was seventy five cent, uh, cent, uh, millimeter wheel. 75 millimeter by 25. So what you could do is use that curvature that you have there and grind like that as opposed to like that. So you've got your wheel where you would yeah. normally grind like this. All right. Turn your blade and grind in this direction. That could Even be an idea. Even if it's just to wrap it out. Even if it's just I'll to wrap it, it with out. that thing. This way around. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I haven't thought of that one. Yeah. That works quite nicely when I do uh, certain things. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Do you have a finger notcher? You know, the little, the, 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 the flat one, the harps one? A little wheel attachment. Do you have a small wheel attachment? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So put that on your bench grinder so that's uh, uh, vertical, horizontal. Yeah. Uh, put that on your grinder, horizontal. You've got a three wheel, right? Uh, I've, yeah, but uh, my attachment is for the ultimate. Have you got an ultimate? You've got an ultimate as well. Yeah. Yes. So it'll stand like that. Yeah. Okay. So then you are going to be grinding like this, just on a slight angle. I'll try that one. Yeah. Happy I nice. haven't thought about that. Yeah. And, and fit the biggest, biggest wheel that you have. I think it's a 45 mil. Uh, I think 30, 38, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. All right, but uh, that, that should smooth it out, run it slow, and that'll get uh, all your uh, Dremel marks up. And when, you, when you're when moving the blade, if your belt oh, is... It's 50 mil. Okay, so right. if your belt is moving this way around... Yeah. Right? Grind the opposite. So your, your, your wheel is running sorry your wheel is running this way yeah so move the blade this way yes because if you move so it grind. this way you can do marks are you going yeah. to the wheel turning this way always move your blade this way yeah so move into the belt not with into the belt yeah yeah, yeah. quick little see this is only if you screwed up Numerous times, numerous, <laughs> numerous times, you 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 get these wonderful little aha moment, moments, and I think myself and Jack has actually chatted about this specific phenomenon in the past already. Uh, well, yeah. not already, we have. Uh, so, Andrew, how's my bull going? That there is the world's fanciest anal probe at this point in time. Yeah. Because the front part of that, which is supposed to go on there, I screwed up and I'm currently remaking that. Um, my blade, the fullering is finally done. Um, it should have been done about five, no, four hours ago, four and a half hours ago. Um, still not done. I'm not going to be grinding this tonight. I might just grind that tomorrow. But what it is on the plan for tonight is to extend my tang because apparently my masking tape idea the guys my fellow knife makers laughed at me when i yeah, started no, that's not down, saying that because i don't have duct tape yeah i'm having to use masking tape because apparently i'm going to be spray painting this thing later on uh, yeah so that but in one piece that's the plan for tomorrow morning and then uh, um, i have got my bed in the shop over there so let me just show you i think sean is already sleeping uh, -uh. uh let's, let's see where is the software i want red there we go yeah hello sean yeah. Hello. all right so sean is already uh <laughs> taking a bit of a nap there uh but yeah that that's the build so far uh, so Niels, evening gentlemen Niels. Why yes. is it called duct tape when it's used when it's used primarily to hold the hamster together? <laughs> it's just just one of those questions of life, eh? Yeah. Uh, what wh what's the answer to that question of, of life? Was it 32? What, I can't remember. On Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy? 4012. Sorry? 4012. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. No, 4012 okay, so, is uh, Benjamin is saying, total beginner here, any tips uh, on my first dagger? I was, I was Just about start. to start on. Just, Just start. 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 The quickest way to learn is to fail often and fail miserably. Um, Indeed. The only way you learn is by making mistakes. If you're not making mistakes, you're not learning anything. Therefore, you're not pushing yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. The reason I started making daggers is I was told they were the most difficult knife to make. I made the first one and I full heartedly agreed. Um, so the only way you get better at something is to keep on making them and making them and making them until it becomes lacquer. And lacquer is, uh, I don't know, um, enjoyable. Yeah. Same thing with Mr. Jack it. Conan over there with razors. Yeah. He's not at a point where I call him stupid when he makes one of those things. 
Um, I mean, just run your finger. You, you've you guys seen him run the finger over the blade and the blade flexes and that blade is like 63, 64 Rockwell. Yeah, look at that. That is just... Mm. But now for you to be able to do that, you need to understand what grain refinement is. Yeah, because yeah. a normal bullet that you buy off the shelf, you will never get that edge flex on a on a blade uh, on, on yeah. just using normal steel. Yeah, you need to do edge refinement. Um, so... Benjamin, advice, start, buddy. And it starts yeah. with a drawing. It doesn't start with tools, yeah? Start with a drawing. Yeah. Figure out what ratio is. Um, if it looks yeah. good on paper, it will probably look good on uh, on on in, in real life, yeah? But don't just and think do of it. a plan. So don't, don't just draw in that dimension. Think of this thing from uh, the back, the pommel, uh, the shoulders of uh, the quillen block, uh, quillen transition. So from the block into the quillen, Quillen into the finials, um, the the shape of the handle. If you're going to be twisting and blah blah, everything gets done on paper. That's why it's called a plan. Yeah. Once you have a plan, then all you need to do is follow the plan. Execution. That's it. That's the best advice or the only advice I want to give you. Uh, nothing about uh, skills or techniques or blah 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 blah. Just make a plan, follow the plan. Done. Learn. Make notes along the way. Just do it. Yeah. And don't draw something this big in a 48 hour dagger challenge. Next year, I'm making something that'll fit on a fucking five rand coin. Absolutely, Curtis. Now, why aren't you doing it? <laughs> no, Curtis has said that uh, next year he's in. Yeah. So, Mr. Steve Cat, he is a good kid. Yeah, he is, man. Yes, he is. Uh,. All right, so we're a couple of comments. Cool. I have 5160 which is the better one for a dagger. It doesn't matter, buddy. It does not matter. 5160 and the heat treat is obviously going to be a lot easier. It is going to grind nicer. 5160 is 0.6% carbon. A bit of molybdenum, a bit of tungsten in there. Oh, one is 1% 1 carbon. And that thing is a tool steel. Yeah. Where 5160 is a medium carbon spring steel. Oh, one is considered a high carbon steel so the higher the carbon content the more difficult the heat treat becomes that's why is 5160 is generally referred to as the night makers apprentice steel um it is not just a beginner steel keep in mind the abs american placement society when you do your journeyman test it is um suggested that you do that test in 5160. why because it's a kick-ass steel man it's a kick-ass steel yeah yeah all right, so hopefully that covered that. Uh, look, there we go, 5160. Uh, and if you're done with uh, 5160, go for ATCRV. Yeah, ATCRV is brilliant. It is it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> very easy to use, very easy to forge, very easy to, to grind. It's just a beautiful steel. Gareth, my buddy. How's it going, man? I'm making a dagger, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Probably too. Uh, yeah, right. maybe. <laughs> Good stuff, Andrew. Excellent, man. All right. So uh, I think what we need to do, you making a small sword, um, Jack. Yeah, it's about 40, 45 uh, centimeters, so 450 mil, right? Yeah, 440, 450 there or thereabouts. I might end up making it a little bit shorter just to get better definition on the on the tip. Uh, so, Gareth, man, you're making a small sword. Small swords is daggers for midgets. Yeah, there's no such thing as a small sword. A small sword is a sword that was made for kids. So it was a smaller version of a sword. Um, generally, they are daggers, and there's a big confusion between uh, 16th, 17th century. Uh, what was a dagger and what was considered a small sword? <laughs> but my research, though, showed everything that was considered a small sword uh, was actually made for children. And now it's going back in the oven. Excellent. I've got a hunk of steel. <laughs> oh, whack, whack. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with the whack whack. Now it's just um, driving small little punches to, well, small little chisels to carve out those sections. You have fun, man. There, there. Are you making chisels for that? I've got chisels. I'm using chisels. 
Remember to feed Sean. Sean is already fed. That's why he's falling over. Uh... Yeah, dude, come on. Dad. We don't. We don't care whether you can speak English as long as you can nod. Yeah. Just nod. That's all you do. The 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 link is there on the next live session, which will probably happen at ten o'clock. Are you guys up for that? I'll be here. Yeah, I'm fine. Anyone, so I'll be. What I'll be working. Do, yeah, me as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a live at ten p.m. All right. So I'll put the link again in the uh, Facebook group, and then if there's anyone that want to join all you do is you click on the stream yard link um either your mobile or on a desktop it doesn't matter whether it's a pc or a whatever you have um click on that make sure you have a camera make sure that you have uh, um, a microphone um and done join in yeah all right boys i'm gonna love and leave you all right man yeah my day Same is over. So i need to go back to work thank you for joining me have fun and uh jack one. Good luck, boys. Work your asses off. Yeah? Same to you. Cheers, yeah. guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.